M0FXB. So we've got our mesh tastic unit loaded with firmware now. We're just learning the configuration. I notice that mine says no GPS. This is the Helltech version 3 that I got from eBay for about well, it's under £20. So the way this all works is once you've loaded the firmware, which is very straightforward using this firmware flasher, it looks like that. You literally click the target, Helltech, select firmware, flash. It's literally that easy. Once it's flashed, you just swipe down, tap on your Bluetooth, hold your finger, pair it, okay, which I've done. A number pops up on the screen here, which you put in, and then it pairs. And then once you're paired, you can go to start to set it up. We'll go three dots here and we'll go radio configuration. And you've got all these tabs. Now, this video is really just to show you how you turn on the GPS, which is here, although we're not getting a GPS signal. Maybe this hasn't got a GPS unit and I don't know how to pair it to my phone to get GPS because I've got a GPS booster right here and it's made no difference. Um, so if we go position, look. Each time you select anything, you have that little boot. And so position, broadcast, intervals, smart position, user fixed position. I, I, you, I, I'm not doing that. I'm just going GPS enabled. So I could, yeah, I could go, if I just slide it across, like I can put in my longitude and latitude, so I may do that. Um, and that's that section. Let's go back. Let's go to device. Serial output on by default and that's what I've got there if anyone gives me any tips about any settings let me know power so you control it with your phone while if you're using Bluetooth but if you want to control it via the an, an IP address and then go to the browser on your in on your computer or, or on your phone I suppose then um, you can do that apparently so display let's have a quick look so that's all default. Go back. Did we miss one? The network. So this is the one where if you choose, see it's Wi-Fi is not enabled. Ethernet is not enabled. If I chose Wi-Fi and then you put in your username and password, then I'm sure that everything I'm seeing now, I can see, I'll be able to see on my computer and I will do that. There's my Bluetooth connection now and the pin at the moment. So everything's default because we haven't, we haven't done anything. We've got no signals in this room because we're downstairs. I do plan to put one in the loft. Module configuration, MQTT. So I did enable it, but we're, we're, not, re, we're not near enough anything to, to do that. So I think I'll turn that off for now. Um, they do recommend that you don't turn that on for very long. So I would only turn it on just quickly, just to get some information and then turn it off again. Range test, that's interesting. Range test is not enabled at the moment. Okay, interesting. And telemetry. What else have we got? Here? Canned messages. All new to me. Remote hardware. Go back. And there's menus. There's menus within menus. You know, you can see if I show them all, we're going to be here all day. You can reboot, shut down, factory reset, import, export. Audio, there's all audio stuff there. I mean, there's a lot of work been gone into this, isn't there? Go back one. So just, just really, it's an overall just showing you. You can change the theme as well, light, dark. So we'll go dark just for fun. Oh, look, then you get the uh, black and white cool image. I like that. There's an introduction. I've seen that, and that definitely helps. Quick chat options. Is that going to be things like Discord? Quick chat options, nothing at the moment, just a black screen, but oh, it looks like you, you see that there was a plus button there. Quick chat and then plus. Okay, go back. Three dots. Show it, that's your introduction, which you can skip. Um, language theme, export. Right, so in the radio configuration, I would say is most of your stuff. I might just quickly put it into um, Wi-Fi mode and just show you, just using my phone, what shows up on the computer. So what I'll do is go radio configuration, go down to network, then go up to, we're going to go for Wi-Fi, aren't we? Enable Wi-Fi. Remember, it turns off the phone. 
See if it lets me put in my username and password and then we'll reboot. If I put it in, and we're going to click send. It's now rebooting. I get my guess is that it will reboot with, um, and you, oh, you can power these, there's a battery here. It will reboot with an IP address, maybe. I can search it with my network search anyway. Close. I'm guessing that none of this is going to work now. See if it comes. I'm just going to check my uh, do a Wi-Fi search. So you can use advanced IP scanner, but I use my own one, and it's there. Look, one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one zero three. I bet you can rename that if you want. So let's go to that. So it says web server. Web server is running. The contact you're looking for can't be found. Please see fax. And if I click admin, so I don't know how to log into my. It says Miss Stastic anyway. Device report. There you are. What does that mean? Not a lot to me. Interesting though. And there's a page here that I'll put in the description that gives you some instructions. Mesh Tastic Web is a client that runs directly in your browser. There are three ways of accessing it. It gives you some addressing addresses here. Meshtastic.local, client.meshtastic, um, and hosting it yourself. So yeah, don't really know how that's all gonna work. It looks like you can do it on your phone as well. Thanks for watching my channel, all very interesting. Bye for now, learning well.